knows the future. He also holds my hand. Oh, yeah. 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 My name is Ethan Feldman. I'm an assistant coach at NYU. I played three seasons here and then played one year of professional basketball in Israel. The last few seasons of my career at NYU were a lot of fun with my teammates and coaches, but we didn't have a ton of on-court success. On the court, there were a lot of players coming in and out, um, and we were never able to fully realize our potential, even though we had some pretty good talent. I think the dynamic has changed a lot. Um, anyone who watched the team last year will, will notice the stark difference in, in play style. And I think Coach Klatsky just brings a, um, a winning culture from Colgate, right? Like, he started in a position where his teams at Colgate were really, really bad for a long time. And although NYU has a storied history in the past, um, the past six or seven years have been really bad and he's looking to change that. So I did, I did some extensive research about the team in my interview prep and in just watching them on the court, I thought there was some talent, I thought they played hard. And honestly, things didn't go perfect last year and a lot of that was some close losses and then as you dig a little deeper um, there's some other stuff going on but they had some talent and I was uh, excited when I got the job to coach these guys and see what I could do with them and then obviously bringing in two new players like Spencer Friedman and Michael Savarino was a huge boost to, to the already um, solid team. My name is Michael Savarino, I play table tennis for Duke University and uh, they call me Ping Pong Sav. <laughs> My name is Spencer Friedman. I'm a grad student here at NYU. I am from Los Angeles, California, and I transferred here after four years at Harvard. Strangely enough, Colgate played Harvard and Spencer had his arguably best game against Plus Colgate. Minutes to go, Harvard can get a couple of stops and a couple of makes like that. Well, Friedman! Go. Friedman. Lead as big as 16 points. Left-handed, open. Friedman. Spencer is one of the best passers I've ever seen and been around. Um, great ball handler, great shooter, and just an, a willingness to get others involved when he's got such a extensive offensive skill set. Close to 10. Friedman. Because maybe you saw that clip of a Lucas Sakota heave that sent this game into overtime. This is Friedman who takes it inside. When his name came to the surface uh, through some mutual uh, friends and acquaintances, it just seemed like a great fit. So I, I think Spencer's the type of guy that can do some special things. Um, really, the sky's the limit for him. I'm Michael Savarino. Um, I'm from Durham, North Carolina. And prior to NYU, I played basketball at Duke University. Great pace at times this year. As they go to the right, Savarino will try one from distance and knock it down. Sav is probably one of the toughest players that I've been around. He's been in a little bit different role being at Duke and being a guy that is mainly been a practice player to help the players that are looking to make the NBA. For him, this is a situation that he can now come into and be one of the main guys and, and, and have a, a bigger role. And really good shooter, um, can't dribble, but that's okay when you do a lot of other, a lot of other good things. Just being around the Duke program, um, for so long, he learned a lot of the right habits. Two guys that we're super excited about, we'll see what they can bring, but um, I'm, I'm very confident in both of them and, and I'm really excited to coach them.
If I get another layup, I'm dunking it. I, I've played at the highest level or been a part of the, of the highest level of basketball. Um, and I think just being around a winning culture goes an extremely long way in, in, in basketball. Um, I'd say just somebody who, who brings a ton of energy every, every single day, somebody who leads by example, but also vocally, someone who will do the, the dirty work and whatever a coach says uh, in order for us to win. Do I have to pass that? Like, shoot that? Oh, oh. Oh, get back. Nice AC. Get you know, open, Q. Who is it? Hey, hey. I scored on you, bro. It's 3 3 between you and me. This is, this is horrible. The game is not even close to being over. Seven. So you're gonna enter, but all right, you're gonna go screen away. All right, as it's happening, Sav, you're coming like our normal horn strong, you're coming off, dribble at. Okay. Cutting through. Jeez, that was a lot. A lot of lines. Great play though. What is that? I thought you fouled out with three technicals. No, I only had one foul. And four what technicals. What do you think that I had two? Four technicals. I cheated so hard. Oh! I'm out. Nice hands. That is a violation. So, like, when we come in here, whether Coach Klosky is here or not, like, we're going to be loose, we're going to have fun, but it's, it's to get better every single day. So, my name is Maurice Kearney. I'm an assistant men's basketball coach here at NYU. The reason I chose NYU is because, number one, it's a national brand. Um, to have an opportunity to come work with and for a guy like Dave Klasky was an opportunity I could not pass up. Um, I'm real big on energy. I feel like my job as an assistant and our job as a staff is that we cannot have any days off, meaning that, you know, we have to be locked in and bring the energy, bring the juice every single time we step into practice, because I do believe energy is contagious. If we can continue to get better every single day, continue to share the basketball and continue to play hard and play for one another, um, then again, like I said, the results will show for so itself. I, I think you guys competed today. Let's, let's get back tomorrow and, um, and continue to like that trajectory is going up because we got a lot, we got some basketball left to be played. We got some wins to get. Yeah. All right, on the defensive side, gaps and bodies. All right, so we need them to see bodies. We need to be in those gaps. All right, a lot of dribble drives coming. We know who's their, their main guys. We got to know who's coming at us the hardest, and this is going to be Fullerton. I was tasked with doing the scouting report on York. Terrell Fullerton, number three, is probably going to be our toughest challenge yet in terms of staying in front of someone. He's extremely shifty. Okay, so Fullerton, very good player. 
This is, this is not a one-on-one -on -one thing. He can never be seeing one guy and see lanes to get to the hoop. Okay, we've got to make him see those bodies. We've got to be in gaps. We've got to be ready because he's coming with those big crossovers, okay? And he might get a half a step on you. Stay with the play, get good challenges, don't foul him. They want to prove something. They want to beat you guys. They're reading about you guys. They want to go out. They think they're just as good as you. So that first punch, let's deliver that first punch, not take it. All right, let's deliver it and be ready to go and get out of here with a dub. Let's go. Family, let's go, let's go. Let's go. They're a dangerous team. My message to the guys is it is really hard to win any college basketball game, so we have to be ready for whatever they throw at us. They have a guy in Terrell Fullerton who is averaging close to 20, and he's just a dynamic, really good player. So this is the type of game you go on the road, you, you just see it in college basketball all the time. It's, it doesn't really matter the talent levels or where you've been. It's just it's hard to win road basketball games, and that's been my message to the team as we prepare for this game. Bring your own energy night. Let's go. All right, bring your own energy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Hey, all of us. All of us. All right. Tip off is underway, and away we go. Back out to Friedman. A long three, and he drills it. Spencer Friedman, the Harvard transfer. Now coming in, Terrell Fullerton banks it in. Fullerton, the key for York. A long three on the way that is knocked down by Divine Chisel. Spencer Friedman back up top. Hayden Peak down a seam, kick out. Friedman, three, knocks it down. Here's Fullerton turning a corner, lost it on the drive. Savarino comes up with it on a fast break. Bounce past Freeney. Lays it up and in. Coming down the court, Trepata puts up a three and he knocks it down. Kick out Freeney, stop and pop, around and out. Rebounded by Chisholm, coming up the court, York, banking it in. Aiden Peak through a crowd, got rejected. York ball, and here's Sinkay Stevens checking in. Three from up top, that is knocked down by Terrell Fullerton. K. Stevens, step back, triple, drains it. Friedman crosses the timeline, stops his triple, finds Stevens, three, knocked down. Clark lays it up and in. We gotta know that he's the guy that can go off for 30. If yeah, we yeah. stay with him a little longer, like let's say you don't, your blast isn't like normally, it's because right. like you're really good at it, but he's yeah. quicker than you, yeah. and you just like guide him, like stay back. with, right. because he's their guy. Yeah. All right. We don't have to overhaul in the other position. Yeah. 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 Together on three, one, two, three. Together. Together. Trapetta through a crowd, outlet pass. Fullerton got rejected on his way up. Now the Violets have numbers. Spencer Friedman finds Bashinsky in stride. Kick out three is drained by Sinkay Stevens. Save Freeney on the inbound. Back up top. Stevens again. He's on fire. Splitting the defenders. Fullerton. Draws the foul. So Mert puts up a three and splashes it. Fullerton again splitting the defenders and lays it up and in. Save Freeney. His pass broken up for a moment. And now a foul against Nikola Lipovich. Fullerton again on fire, much like Sinke Stevens. Fullerton injured on the ground, and you wonder if he's going to be good to go to come back. He's been the star player for York tonight. Stevens with the left hand, bumped off a defender, pulls up, and hits. Zayfrini skip pass. Friedman three. Oh, yeah. Is he back in? Is Fullerton's back in? All right, so now the game's a little different without him in. You, like the rebounding and all those loose balls are gonna matter. Right. So you get in his, his pocket, no this guy's gonna trap, and then the, the Stealers be ready. Together right. on three, one, two, three, together. together. Here's Friedman, one on one, down the baseline, finds Clark at the last second, and Fullerton, after getting injured, will return back for York. 
Guarded by Savarino, coming down the baseline, triple team, and is shot off the mark. Savarino feeds it to Friedman. Friedman into a crowd. No look past Lipovich, three, and he sinks it. Here's the feed to Fullerton. Fullerton around the screen, cutting through, and the pass in and out of the hands of Matthew Smiley. Back up top to Mark Zor. Corner, long two, knocked down. Fullerton. Crossing up, shook Savarino, and he has the strong take for another two. Back to Fullerton. Fullerton with the right hand, switches to the left, trying to shake Savarino, spinning and finding Matthew Smiley. Great court vision from Terrell Fullerton, who's done it all for York. Fullerton threading the needle to Austinson Cook. Friedman. Three on the way, and he drains it. My name is Sinke Stevens. I am a junior here at NYU. I've always kind of just ate lightly on game days, um, my whole career, but this year especially, it's just, you know, breakfast in the morning and then uh, candy until, until the game starts. So you'll, you'll see me snacking on sour gummy worms, gummy bears, anything I can find uh, before the game. It has things. Don't fall into any of your power options. Gotta be superstitious as hell out. <laughs> All right, uh, we got up 30, maybe even more than that, and they get, went on a 9-0 run before you hit that three at the end. Uh, I can't tell you how important it is to focus for 40 minutes, right? Even in games like this, where it's like, oh, we're up 30, we're good. Like, the game switches like that, right? And even if, like, even if it's not for this game, which it should be, we have to focus for 40 minutes at all times. All right, but you guys are taking good shots. Out of our, we, out of our 28, how many, how many are open? Uh, 26. 26. That's that's what we. That's what I'm talking about. So two tough ones, and I think you made one of them. You you were heat checking, so we can't even get mad about that one. Fullerton's a good passer too, so we have to keep our hands when he's coming at us. Keep those hands active, but he's taking some tough ones and missed some tough ones. So just make his his job as difficult as possible. Um, all right, hey, let's go. Let, let's uh let's get this half star right and first get the punch. hell out of here. First punch. First punch. Oh, Family. Here's Savarino along the end line. Freeney stepping in, and he found Clark inside of the painted area. A three on the way that is laced by Terrell Fullerton. Spencer Friedman with York defenders draped all over him has to give it up to Stevens. Stevens stepped out of bounds, and a turnover for NYU. Here's Chisholm, down the baseline, laying it up and in. Hey, let's go. Hey, this is a game now, all right? They came back. They're, they're playing with a great energy, and we're just out there going through the motions. Like, where's our defense at? What are we doing? We're going to get wide open shots. Yeah. Be patient now and get great ones, all right? And keep crashing. Yeah. Keep crashing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do we do. Let's go. Now, Freeney blowing by, missing the layup, but Quinn Clark there to clean it up. Sinke Stevens dishes to Friedman. Friedman finds a cutting Holt Bashinsky for another two. Sinke Stevens will sub out in what's been a career night for him. Friedman up top, Bashinsky three, laces it. NYU with numbers, and he puts it in. And that'll do it. NYU caps off their eighth win of the season by a dominant 98-62 win over York College. And they were led by none other than Sinke Stevens, who shot 8 of 10 from beyond the arc for 27 points. Look, it's a road win. Anytime you can win on the road, I don't care what the talent level or the competition, you, you, you get out, right? That's, that's basketball, right? This team, Fullerton got hurt. I thought it was, he looked great and when he came back, but then obviously he wasn't ready to go in the second half, which changed their team. But they came out with energy again, right? They caught a 26-point lead, 
because we scored the first basket to 15, right? 15 point game with 14 minutes left. We've all played basketball enough. You can win that game. So we've got to find a way, like I said, to focus for 40, which is hard. It's hard to do when you're up 27, but they came back and they got close. And then we responded and put it away. All right, so I'm proud of you guys for that. Good job, guys. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I don't have the stats, but Sinke Stevens. Let's see what we got here. Nine for 13 from the floor, eight for 10 from three, 27 points, six rebounds, four assists. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we did? Hey, school record broken. Let's go. Quietly, quietly, guys, quietly.